I thought it would be appropriate to make a little video about the fact that we've just passed 3000 subscribers and also just reached 1 million views in total. Though most of the views come from the history of Counter-Strike. But it's still fucking amazing. Escalation is now a bit over a year old and when I uploaded the first few videos, with the history of Counter-Strike being the first English one, I never imagined I'll be making a 3000 subscriber or a 1 million views video. I'm really surprised that people enjoy this content. So what did we put out in the last year? 12 episodes of the cut content of Counter-Strike, by far the most popular video series, 3 episodes of the cut content of Half-Life, 15 episodes of map development history and several other videos. From time to time a review or non-Valve related stuff, cause you know, there are other video game developers out there that deserve some love. But the devil is in the details. So what is the really important stuff we've done? Well, we just recently talked about raping aliens in Half-Life. Before that, we have violated living alien weapons ourselves in our classic video, Going Anal in Black Mesa. <laughs> and we also sent the German Minister of the Interior into space for daring to blame Counter-Strike. And explored the amazing developments of the Japanese VR sex toy market. This is... this is so fucking Japanese. <laughs> Seems like we had a pretty good first year. Well, so to speak, season 1 of Escalation was pretty nice. So onwards to season 2. So I think I should do what everyone does at this point in these types of videos and say thank you. Thank you to the guys who have been helping me and keep this channel alive and create videos. And the most importantly, thank you, valued viewer. Without you, this channel would be just, I guess, a file dump. Thank you not only for watching, but also taking part in discussions under the videos. That's really interesting and sometimes even amusing. Want an example? I wouldn't mind getting raped by an alien. Seriously, dude, by this thing? You horny bastard. <laughs> Seeing people return to your channel and comment over and over again is amazing. And when I first realized that, I was like, man, these people really come back and seem to enjoy your stuff. That still amazes me. And the crazy thing is, there are about 3000 of you. Admittedly, only about a quarter of all the subscribers are regular viewers. But that is still overwhelming. And looking at the overall view count? 1 million views? Really? That's like everyone in this picture had seen an escalation video. A video mostly made by me, a fat nerd in front of his computer, not even having the decency to put on pants while he's thanking his 3000 subscribers. <laughs> so. Absolutely, thank you guys. And also thanks to the 3% of girls watching. God damn it, this channel is a sausage fest. <laughs> I think that's all for today. Well, okay, maybe some questions for you guys. Question number one. I was asked if I plan to create a Facebook page or something. I probably will. What do you think about it? Would it be good? Tell me. And question number two. Kind of a random thing. You probably know our sort of mascot. That counter-terrorist Fox who originated from a bad joke in the first Counter-Strike Online 2 video. He appeared in various versions over the course of the last year and the question is, do you like the mascot idea in the first place? And if so, should we change him a bit? Maybe add a beard or something? And question number three. I started to like paintball a lot and since it's pretty much a first-person shooter, I thought of making a little video about it, sort of a real-life review. Do you think that would be something you'd enjoy? Oh, and I got myself my first marker. Since I really liked shooting the M4 when I was trying it out on the firing range, I got myself a Tipman Sierra 1 marker. It's close to an M4 and reasonably priced. I think that's quite okay for a first marker. So I'm taking suggestions on how to paint it. If you have any cool ideas for a camouflage design or any other design, tell me, I'm taking suggestions. So enough questions for you. If you got any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Till then, have a nice day and once again, thank you guys. And as always, goodbye and guten Tag.